Hi, and welcome to another episode of Swift Programming. And today in this episode, your challenge is create a string, and then you're gonna use regular expression to separate characters from numbers. So you're gonna have a, a string with letters and numbers, and you have to go through it and just get the letters or the numbers using NS regular expression. All right, so let's have a go at it. Uh, it. This is kind of intermediate. So if you do not understand it at all, don't worry. <laughs> um, it's just pretty crazy regex. So uh, here we go, let's get on with it. So first you need a string uh, that you're going to search. Okay, I'm just gonna call it string search. And in there, just gonna put random letters and uh, numbers space or something there we go just to mess with it okay so here is our regex rule okay so a rule equals uh, try and this regular expression there it is and then pattern Okay, we want pattern and options. That's great. And it's gonna throw an ex exception. So the pattern we're going to use. Now, this is where you, you're gonna put your regex options. Okay, so this is how you write a regex. Uh, first you need that. You need to have it in inverted commas, highlight it and press shift exclamation. Um, and inverted commas. Okay, so the first one we're gonna do is let's do, let's just find numbers. So zero through to nine. That's what that means. And then your option is, we'll just use it, um, we'll do case insensitive because later we're gonna do uh, characters, okay? So that's our regex rule. Okay, this next part gets a bit crazy, so um, we're going to create a map and we're going to um, use a range and we're going to map that range as we search through it okay into a string okay so let's let's just do it so let matches equals and then our regex rule and we have to you could do an if let here. You might want to do that just in case you find nothing. Okay, so if let matches equals regex dot matches. All right, we're going to do matches in and the string search. And that one there. And the options, we're just going to leave that blank. So just press a rectangular bracket. And then the range we're going to use, NS range is probably an easier way. And if you've got it, feel free to share. Um, I just had a look online and, and and just found some things and got some things to work. So that's how I sort of code, um, but I'm happy to learn off you as well. So we're gonna do string, we're just gonna actually, we need a an empty string. Okay, because we're just gonna try and find the matches and put it into a string and grab its range and that will become one of the matches. We're gonna put it into an array, which is the map mapping tool. So first, actually go back here, just don't worry about that. We need uh, let string equals string we're searching as NS string. We have to convert it to NS string. Uh, we're casting it here because we're using an NS regular expression. So there are some Swift 5 things where it's just regular expression, but this is the one I, I found just now. I'll see if I can find the other way to do that in, in another video sometime. Or if you, you do, feel free to share it. So when you use that NS string, and its length. All right, so we're gonna go find its location and its length. 
Okay, we've done that. And then we're going to map it. All right, so map. That's good. Uh, we don't want any of this transforms. We're going to put the results into here. Now, options, I'm getting an error because matches in. Let's have a look. Any is not convertible. All right, now I might have to force this. Hmm. Options, range, NS range. Yep. If let matches equal. Yeah, I still want like that. Matches in the search string. Options that. Any is not convertible. I've got a typo somewhere. It could be the if let that's causing this. Let's see what happens when I finish it. Substring, uh, we're going to go with and the range, and it'll be zero dot range. Okay, options, what's going on here? What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get rid of this if let. Okay, so that worked. I guess if it finds nothing uh, with this, it's got a throw. So it'll throw like when, when I say throw, it's going to throw uh, an error. So and you want to try and catch it, but uh, we, we're not forcing it there with the try. Okay, let's let's see what the matches are in this case anyways, but it's it seems this seems to be working. Um, probably not the cleanest way to do it. So but oh well. Okay. And it works. So I'm happy as Larry. <laughs> um, and, and what we've done here is we've found the numbers. Now, the other thing was, so this works great. Okay. Chuck it into a function, create a function out of it. Uh, you might want to do some testing with it to see what happens if it throws an exception. Uh, you might want to do a try catch with the matches. Okay, so it grabs all the numbers and puts them into an array for you, which is quite convenient. And all right, let's try it now. Just say you just wanted the letters. So we go A through to Z and whoops, through to Z. So uh, dash Z and run that. And we should get all of the characters in this string all the way there through to J. Uh, did it get the space? No. Okay, so that's great. So um, that's how to break up your string. Let's, I wanna just test this quickly and I wanna see if it'll find 230. Let's see if it'll find that. Let's see how good it is. All right, so it's found, but it founds, it finds every occurrence of those three numbers. So uh, we've got a two, one, two, three of them. One, two, three of them. Yep. All right, and you could do a counting uh, count, like the occurrences of those in there too. So that's very interesting as well. Um, some other things you might want to try and find out is how to, like I was trying to do just find that range of that object there. So, but yeah, so that's it. Um, our goal was to separate the characters from the numbers and we did it. 
Uh, not not sure if it's the best way, but it works. So, you know, um, that that's a great way to approach things. Some people finick over things and, and, you know, yeah, you could create really robust code and, oh, this is ways the better way. And I'm, I'm not, I, I'm not saying that that way is probably a better way, but, you know, there are many ways to, to, to do things. So, um, yeah, um, feel free to share. That's why we're here and let's learn from each other. Anyways, thank you everybody. Talk to you next time.